Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook brought to you by Sam Levitt's Furniture. I'm star sports editor Ryan Finley here with the great Greg Hansen. Greg, it's Super Bowl week. You will be up there Sunday when the New England Patriots take on the Seattle Seahawks. You have a great history with the Super Bowl, and hopefully I can talk you into telling at least a couple stories on this one. Let's start with when you were covering the Tampa Bay Bucks. John McKay, Mr. What do you think of your team's execution? <laughs> you went to New Orleans for a Super Bowl. Take me through that. It was, I was a beginner, mm -hmm. and that was so long ago, the reporters could buy tickets for the Super Bowl through the team, so I bought four. Mm -hmm. I just moved there from Utah and invited four of my derelict buddies to fly out for the week. <laughs> It was from Monday to Monday, <laughs> which is way too much time. <laughs> Everything was free. Yeah. Um, so I got the tickets. We went to the horse racing. Mm -hmm. we, stayed, we never went to bed. Anyway, the day of the game, I, I walked into the Superdome, mm -hmm. biggest event I'd ever been at, and one of the guys who had flown in from Utah goes, I'm sneaking in. Mm -hmm. We went, what are you talking about? He said, I want to tell everybody I snuck into the Super Bowl. So I'm, wherever I was in the Super Bowl that day, he walks up to me and shows me his ticket. He had snuck in. If you tried that now, because you remember the Super Bowl we went to, right. it is like airport security times 10. Yeah, the bomb, I mean, bomb sniffing dogs checking your laptop bag. Yeah. Yeah. But that get, my friend, Bob Martin, <laughs> snuck into the Super Bowl in 1977, <laughs> Dallas, Denver, and that's the greatest stunt I've ever seen. <laughs> Greg, you've covered, this will be your third Super Bowl here and the third Super Bowl in uh, the state of Arizona. Uh, which one to you of the previous two was more memorable? I, I liked the one in 96 that was played at Sun Devil Stadium. It was two old-style teams, That's Dallas, true. Pittsburgh, and it seemed more authentic being at Sun Devil Stadium. Yeah. It's too much of a high roll now. Right. Maybe not too much, but it's such a high roll now. I really enjoyed that game, and um, it was outside. Mm -hmm. It was a close game. It, it was. I remember a lot about that week. Absolutely. I remember, Greg, when we went the year... Uh, David Tyree's catch in, in the Giants, in sort of the miracle upset, beat the Patriots there at a University of Phoenix Stadium. Do you remember where we were when that happened? I remember our seats were like almost on planet Mars. On planet Mars, we saw Alicia Keys do the yeah. national anthem. Yeah. Uh, Tom, Pe Tom Petty or somebody do halftime. Somebody who was just okay did halftime. It yeah. wasn't ZZ Top. It was not ZZ Top. But do you remember, we were down at the end of the game. We were on a tight deadline. We went down to the media tent so we could be closer to the post-game interviews, thinking that the Patriots had the game locked up. And there was a TV right. about this big, 500 feet in front of us, and everybody goes, whoa. And we stop and we look, we walk up, and there it is. David Tyree has made a catch. Yep. Eli Manning len leads them to a touchdown. New England's dream season is over, and those dang Miami Dolphins, who drive me crazy, were issuing statements in the back of the media room afterwards, That's talking right. about how great it was that New England lost. Hey, I was at the, I was at the John Riggins Rose Bowl, at mm -hmm. Super Bowl at the Rose Bowl, right. and I was standing to go up in the press elevator, and they push everybody back and Jimmy Carter and his wife walked through. Whoa. And I thought, man, that's about the biggest thing I've ever been part of. And then John Riggins made, the, to me, the best play in Super Bowl history yeah. to win that game. So I've had two good memories. Excellent. Okay, what is the weirdest question you've ever heard at the Super Bowl media day? You got one? If you were a tree, what kind of a tree you'd be? Isn't that the famous one? That is the famous one. Yeah. That is the famous one. I also liked, and, and it's sort of become this, this thing of lore now. Somebody asked Doug Williams how long he had been a black yeah, quarterback. Yeah, yeah. And you just sit there and you go, this is what happens when you get way too many reporters in town on the company dime. And free Bloody Marys at the morning press conference. Exactly, exactly. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Sam Levitt's Furniture. For Greg Hansen, I'm Ryan Finley. We're going to go find a free Bloody Mary somewhere. We'll see you next time. For over 60 years, January has been clearance month at Sam Levitz in Tucson. And right now, today, Sam Levitz has reduced over $15 million of home furnishings inventory for the biggest January clearance sale ever. Don't miss blowout clearance items marked down 44, up to 77% off while they last. Everything's marked down to make room for new arrivals. Plus, there's special no interest financing for up to 72 months. So get your new furniture or mattresses now with same or next day delivery. But don't miss the biggest January clearance sale ever at Sam Levitz.